Hey y'all, Chris again coming at you with another video. Today's video is, as the title states, this is on the second hour watch. This is the memoir, guys. This is a pretty cool piece, quick watch check. I am wearing the Devosa. This is the Argonautic 39. This is a new release by them, and these are quick plug. They are available on watchgate.com, by the way, guys. Go over there and check that out. That's why this says paid promotion, because I am getting paid to sell the watches. But again, um, second hour is a brand I'm thinking about adding on to watch games. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. They are Australian based brand. They've been around for a little while. If you guys remember from my early videos, he was one of the first people to send out a watch. I, I looked at the first Jane Clear watch then about four or five years ago. Felt like it was pretty good quality. And this is not really a first impression since I've been kind of wearing the watch for a while. I do like the watch a lot because it does remind me a lot of the Cartier tank, but at a fraction of the cost. It is right around $400 US, which you get a Swiss run of quartz movement in it. And a lot of people might scoff at the quartz movement. But I feel like around $400 for a perfect kind of grab and go kind of dress, or you kind of wear it casual, kind of with a polo shirt, whatever else, you know, kind of dress and go, or dress down casual as well kind of piece. I feel like this is a really good bargain. If you guys have any experience down with second hour, down let me know down below in the comments as well if you guys have any experience with second hour. But anyways guys, we will go to the tabletop and I will show you the washing question. Hey y'all, quick mandatory plug guys. Um, just wanted to throw this in really quick. Again, this is kind of sponsored by Watch Gauge. I am running Watch Gauge guys. Um, we do have a discount running on NKH while they are in stock guys. We have plenty of NTH left. They are selling pretty quick, but you can go in and use the code NTH32 at checkout at watchgates.com guys. I'll leave a link down below. 32% off all NTH in stock. And also, we do have a few Zodiacs left guys. Um, this particular one, I don't think is gonna be left, but we do have a lot of Zodiac left. And those are now 25% off, guys. You can use the code ZC25 at checkout for 25% off of Zodiac. And go over and check out all the new micro brands that we're adding. We have added um, some mainstream brands as well. We just added Delma over. We are the first online authorized dealer for Delma, guys. Pretty excited to add them. We just added some more DeVosa pieces as well. But anyways, guys, go over and check out watchcage.com and check out what deals we have on the website and see what we have over there. And we will see you guys in the next one. Now here is the packaging. Nothing too crazy. Looks like a nice little travel case comes with guys. Again, these retail for right around $400 US. Shipping is usually about $30, $40 from Australia. So it's not too, too bad guys. But again, pretty nice packaging overall. Now this watch is a dress watch. So it may kind of put off some of you. But for me, I find it easy to wear. Now this is a 29 millimeter watch guys, about 28, 29 millimeter. A lot of people might think that's small, but I do have a seven and a half inch wrist and I'll show you what it looks like on my wrist. With the 20 millimeter lugs, it makes it really easy to swap out straps. You can swap out straps pretty easy. Not an overly thick watch. Case back, nothing too crazy here guys. As you can see here, nothing too, too crazy. The crown here at the 3 o'clock. Now the only thing I'm not a huge fan of, but I guess there's a reason why Peter did that, is the second hand down here. I would have kind of made it kind of clean, kind of like the Cartier kind of looks with the, uh, what is it, the Cartier Ronda, or the Cartier, um, the Santos, the, the one Santos model that has that without its quartz, but doesn't have the uh, second hand sweep. But it still looks kind of like an automatic, but I would kind of do kind of that kind of look. But other than that, I do kind of like it. They come in this black colorway, which he was kind enough to send over. They also come in green and blue, and there's a few other colorways. I'll show pictures of those as well. Let me take off my dive watch here and show you guys what it looks like on my wrist here, guys. And again, this is on a 7.5 inch wrist, so you guys can see a wrist shot, what it looks like on a bigger wrist. I feel like those with small wrists can pull it off, but also those with bigger wrists can pull it off as well. And again, this is just something that you can kind of dress up, dress down if you want to. And I kind of like the overall looks. Like I said, it does kind of remind me of a Cartier on a budget. Especially if you don't want to spend three, four grand on a Cartier. Or you just want to test drive the look before you get a Cartier. 
it's not too bad. And again, the, the leather band that comes on it, the leather strap is really nice quality, guys. Wears really, really well. But again, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, definitely go over and check out watchgauge.com, guys. Uh, again, I'm running that site. If you guys know anything, see anything, mention my name over there. Let me know that you saw it over here. And we will see you in the next one. Peace.